Hey guys, it's me, Keely, and this is my first video. We're going to be making no-bake cookies. It's super easy. If you're easy. a big chocolate fan like me, you are going to love these no-bake cookies. Today you are going to be eating quick oats, white sugar, peanut butter, unsweetened cocoa powder, vanilla extract, butter, and milk. So I have all my ingredients laid out and my measuring cups and my medium saucepan. So what we are going to need to do first is measure out our sugar. So what we are going to need is one and three fourths cups of sugar. Now I am going to be measuring out my one and three fourths cup of sugar. And once we are done with that, we are going to move on to our next step. So now we're going to need a half cup of milk. So you may have noticed that I'm using silk almond organic milk. Um, you can use whatever milk you want. This is just what I had in my fridge, so I just used it anyway. So now we are going to be measuring out four tablespoons of cocoa powder. If I can get it open. I'm gonna have to like pry this open. It's not gonna work. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I'm gonna break this. I need to get a knife. Knife somebody! Knife! Oh, never mind! <laughs> okay. So four tablespoons now my grandma is like the best cook in the world and she tells me that like baking always has to be like precise i mean if you're putting something in the oven oven but i mean i'm not putting this in the oven so i mean you don't have to be exactly with this but baking usually you do have to so now i'm just going to put this in my medium saucepan one There's a huge rock of it. Okay. Two. Three. And four. All right. Now we are going to add all of our other ingredients. So now we're going to add the milk and the sugar. my butter one stick of butter or half cup of butter if you're using it out of the jar all right sticky all right anyway now i'm going to light my flame okay and we're, we're going to let that boil and cook for one and a half minutes okay now i'm going to get a spoon wooden spoon so if you because if you use like this kind of spoon, it will give it like a weird taste in the um, cookies. So, and if we have a wooden spoon that I found one. All right, good. So now we're just gonna mash up all of our butter and mix it all together right now. And if you leave your butter at room temperature, then it would be easier to mash up and it'll be quicker to boil and cook. So that's what I did. So just leave this for a little bit. And just let, sit, let that sit for a little. Right now I'm waiting for my mixture to boil and to cook for one and a half minute. So right now I'm going to be, I'm going to be measuring my peanut butter and my quick oats and my vanilla. Now I am measuring out my peanut butter, which is half of a cup of peanut butter. You can have crunchy, creamy, whatever kind of peanut butter. Just I'm using this because this is what I had in my pantry. Because that's what mom got anyway. So now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look my mixture. And as you can see, it is starting to bubble on the side. That means it is almost going to start boiling. So you don't want to keep your eye off of that. And I'm going to be measuring a one and three fourths cup of quick oats to put in our mixture to make it stay together. And I need one more cup of
Now we are stirring all of our ingredients together. And after you have this, you're going to want a pan, a big pan with parchment paper or buttered or sprayed with Pam or whatever. And so after I'm mixing this, I'm going to go bring it over to that burner so I can put it on the pan better. I'm going to get a pan because I did not have that out yet. And you might need two. I am spraying my pan, but you want to do it really lightly because all of that other um, ingredients are in there. It's going to make it not stick. So I'm just going to spread it around with a paper towel. That would be better because you don't want it to be super greasy when you take it off. It makes your hands all messy and then you'll have to do all that stuff. All right, so now I'm going to take a spoon and just scoop it out and put it onto my pan. And you don't have to spread these out that much because they don't spread. Well, I mean, they don't like, because um, you don't put them in the oven, they don't spread out as much. So, mm -hmm. All right, so I just finished plating my first batch of cookies. Turns out you are going to need two of these pans because I still have like half the batter left than I have started out with. So now you are going to put this in the freezer for about 45 minutes and I'll show you the after product when I'm done. As you can see, this is my finished product. I'm going to get one off so I can eat it right now because they are so good. Mm. You can taste the peanut butter so good. There's so much chocolate in here and I love it so much. The oats give it, it makes it all hold together. It's so good. Thank you so much for watching Cook with Keely. And I'll be back next time when you watch me cook. <laughs> Bye. We are going to 